The Aquos Board has made students much more engaged, especially in practical projects. We're able to use it to really engage all of the senses, and then we have 40 people listening, looking, and feeling, and doing things, as opposed to just us standing there talking. So it's really helped us to connect to everyone and what they need. Whenever you bring in some new technology, I feel it brings the teaching and the learning to another level. Maybe some students who weren't paying attention or engaged before really kind of open up and, and start paying attention to the material in a different way. And it became a game changer, not just in academia, but again, in our lecture halls, in our boardrooms, and in our athletic department, and all over campus. Don O'Hagan, Chief Information Officer, Caldwell University. I get 20 to 30 calls a day of people trying to sell me stuff. And I took this appointment from Sharp. And when they brought the technology to our conference room and turned it on, I woke up and said, we don't have to turn the lights off here. It's got tremendous sound and it's all touch technology. And that is something that I think we can expand on. We now have 40 of uh, these boards on campus in multiple areas and they've uh, engaged our students to become part of the learning process. The chalkboards are going. Even the whiteboards are now antique to some of this new technology. Our faculty is starting to engage more and more in the tools that this brings to us. It's multiple and it's integrated across the entire campus with broadcast TV, with radio, with windows, and with the simple office tools. We just got our first Aquos board in our student government office this uh, year. So it's really changed the way that we're able to communicate in our meetings because we're able to say, oh, I have a document, pull it up on the screen, or oh, we want to look at this website and see what this other school is doing. And visually, it's so easy for everyone to be on the same page. Um, when we're brainstorming, we can write lists. When we're writing minutes, you can follow along because we're typing, sitting at a table, but it's showing up on the screen. So it's really helped us to stay on the same page. My name is Katie Flynn, and I'm the president of the Student Government Association. With the Aquas Board, it's great because for our legislative meetings, we'll have 30 to 40 student leaders in a room. So um, it's really easy to really relate to the three different learning types when we're communicating. So some people are audios, um, auditory learners, and some people are kinesthetic, and then others are visual. So we're able to use it to really engage all of the senses. Bob Mann, Professor and Chair, Department of Communication and Media Studies at Caldwell University. The Department of Communication and Media Studies at Caldwell University is a very practical department. While we teach theory and traditional courses, we're mainly teaching performance and production, which was always very hard because of the fact that you had not the best ways in which to show projects that have been done for critiques. For example, uh, we're here in the radio studio, and this radio board, students have to work what is called combo. They're a combination of being the on-air performer and the engineer at the same time. This console is very hard to see across the room. We can get a nice close-up on it as a student or I or uh, a student worker is there, and they're actually with the console and showing how the show is done in a way that's so vivid up on the board that they clearly get it the first time. Our television studio is not just used for instruction, it's used to produce television shows. Well, we have to have the Aquos board there for learning purposes, but it's pretty enough, it's nice enough, that it's actually part of the set. So we put graphics and what you call roll-ins, where video rolls into it, up on that board so that it functions as a piece of the television studio, just the way you, you would see a giant board like that, a video board like that, on a regular broadcast. The Aquos Board has really enhanced student learning and our teaching in various ways. Um, one specifically with students is they're much more engaged in what we're teaching here in the library. Heather Cook, Learning Commons Librarian at Caldwell University. I do information literacy instruction, outreach. I also train various members of our community on new technologies, including the Sharp Aquas Boards. As far as with teaching in the library, uh, many faculty bring in their students for what's called information literacy sessions, where we're taking students through various steps through a database or when they're evaluating a website. There's many clicks and many steps that goes on. With the pen overlay software, it really keeps the students on task and focused when we're going through those various steps. In addition, the mobility has really been um, 
a great success to our teaching. Instead of being stuck behind a teacher's desk, we're now able to move around the front of the room. I'm even able to walk through the rows of students to make sure that they're on task and focus it if they have a question. So it's, it's been great help in both the teaching and the learning here in the library. What surprised me the most about the Aquas board was really the audio and the visual quality. So anyone who's in the back of the room can see it and they can hear it and they can understand it. We're never worried that um, someone in the back is losing out on the information. The surprise was the variety. The variety of inputs and the way that you can adapt it to almost any class. For example, I've stressed so much how we're practical here at Caldwell, but we do have theory classes like Media and Society. To be able to jump from YouTube to a Blu-ray, to using the board instead of using a chalkboard or a whiteboard, back and forth, back and forth, and we hooked it up here with a router so that we can route numerous things into it and be able to use it for, I could probably name you seven different applications. Two things really surprised me when I started using the Aquas board. The first was the fact that it was an all-in-one feature. There was no outside computer, no projector that needed to be warmed up. So that was the very first thing, just the, the sleekness of the design. The second thing was that there was no projector. In the past, you'd have to wait for the projector to be warmed up and then sometimes even have to shut the lights off. It was a very bright day. With the display of the Aquas board, that's no longer needed. We're using them in almost every area and every department. Our athletic department uses it to scout future opponents. They think they now have an edge over their future opponents by using this technology. Additionally, just in our lecture halls, in our boardroom, we don't have to turn off the lights to do a presentation. It's all right there. And once you get a little bit of training on them, you find out that there's 50 different ways to use it, not just one or two. Before we had the Aquas board, um, we literally, we didn't have a whiteboard, we didn't have anything. So all we could do was stand up there and talk and uh, we really would lose a lot of people. So once we got the Aquas board, because it's portable, we can roll it in and we can have someone bring it in and that really helped us, um, the flexibility. So pre Aquas board, um, we had the basic setup of a projector, a teacher's workstation desk and um, a pull down screen to project that teacher's workstation desk. And the desk that we have was very large, very cumbersome, difficult to get around. So I was basically stuck behind that desk for the entire instruction time. Unless I was able to squeeze out every once in a while, but it was hard to get back and forth. Um, so with the Aquas board now, just the mobility is a huge change. Um, very important to teaching, I feel, to be connected with the students. What the biggest difference is, is the difference between using a small TV monitor and an Oculus board for a practical project. Being able to see student shot video or student on-air performances on a small box, even in the age of high def, just isn't enough. It doesn't engage students enough. And this jumps out at you. And it also provides you with a visual for almost anything that you're doing. Yeah, I could show a tape on a VHS, and I did for years, of Nixon and the Checker speech, let's say. But it's lost on a little box in the corner. You can just see the drift off in, in their eyes. Even if the subject matter is interesting, you are in a situation where it's just physically, it, it's just too far away. The Aquas board is not overwhelming, it's just big enough to be engaging. What I found most interesting when we started looking at this technology was there were champions that came out of all corners of the campus and embraced it. Those champions then spread the word and I just sat back and watched it evolve. And sure enough, after we got five of these, all of a sudden we had 30 and there were 10 more being requested on campus. All we did was enable it. And we think that was part of this game-changing environment.